What's up guys, this is Jake Voorhees and you are watching the first episode of the 1% Engineer Show. So, what is the 1% Engineer Show? Well, I hit the five year anniversary with my company this year. As I sit here in beautiful British Columbia, can't you tell with these nice yellow walls and this fabulous little couch right here? But anyway, you'll see more about that in this video, I'm sure. But I am moving back to Maryland in a few months, back to where I'm from on the Eastern Shore, hence this Orioles hat and i'm going to be hopefully transferring with the company i work for and reconnecting with the professors that i went to school with at the university of delaware that's right i'm a blue hen and one thing i'm going to do is make a community for young engineers mostly college age called the one percent engineer and in this community i will be helping educating, supporting, guiding, mentoring young college engineers about things that we never learned in the classroom. As most of you know, being that you are engineers, we learn lots about math, science, physics, things like that, but those are not the things that are gonna make you successful in life. No shot. People don't care about grades. Yes, you have to be smart. That's why engineer pretty much means you're smart. It's implied that you're good at math, that you can problem solve and figure stuff out. But as I've found, it's communication, leadership, empathy, personal skills, innovation, speaking, writing. These are the things that are gonna make you successful. And these are the things that many engineers struggle with. How do I network properly? What do I do when I kick off a job interview? What about trying to find an internship and getting out there in the community and doing what I need to do to succeed? Are these engineering fraternities and societies and community groups and university groups and undergraduate research and all of these curriculars and extracurriculars, are they worth it? What should I be focusing on? These are things that engineers wonder as they evolve as an undergraduate and without mentorship, which in my experience as an engineer who turns 30 this year, looking back when I was at the University of Delaware between 2005 and 2009, the resources were minimal. My advisor was okay. I spoke with other students, their advisors were bad. Some of them were good, lucky to, to have a guy like Jack Paleo or Sue McNeil. Rusty Lee, Chris Meehan, these are the professors who I had some great relationships with and they were younger, if not younger, progressively minded. And the guidance to really go out there and kill it in this world is limited. So I'm making this community called the 1% Engineer. And if you are a part of this community, it's all free. No rev model at all, but if you're a part of this community, you are trying to become a 1% engineer. Everyone knows what a 1%er in life is. The most successful, the CEOs, the people who have done the most in their careers and their jobs and their companies that they run. But the 1% engineer is the epitome of this, but for engineering. This is the point of the community. This is the point of this show. This is the point of this initiative for 2017 and onward for myself is to support young engineers becoming the best they can be. And you will hear a little bit more about me and what I've done. I've done a few things like gone to Chicago and Canada and started a few businesses that have done okay. And I have done my best to exemplify a 1% engineer and I will be doing what I can to use my experiences to help you. So thank you for watching. You can follow me on all social media at Jake Vor. Snap, Insta, Facebook, Medium is where I'm gonna have my blog this year, LinkedIn, everything Jake Vor, keep it consistent. And hopefully in 2017, look back on this episode, I would like to do at least 100 episodes. But uh, stay tuned. 
Thanks for watching and more soon. And thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show. Cheers.